or when you hear the name MTN, what comes to your mind? Let's start with MTN. The first thing that will come to your mind is everywhere you go, or a yellow color with a black circle circling the letters MTN. Why did that happen? Because they have branded themselves like that. So when you hear Bishop David Oyelepo, what comes to your mind? Winner's Chapel. Another thing that can come to your mind is a white suit and a red tie. Because that is how he has branded himself. But guess what? This is not all about branding. So today you are going to be learning specific things that made these people or companies to drive powerful change in the society through proper branding. So what is branding? In the basic term, branding is what comes to the minds of people when your name or the name of your company is mentioned. So if they mention your name right now, like Israel Mafo, what comes to the mind of people? If they mention the name of your company, like Pell Logistics, what comes to the mind of people? If what comes to the mind of people is not consistent with what you are providing to the society, you are not doing your branding properly. So I'll be talking about types of branding and how to the three major things you are going to do to build a profitable brand. So what are the types of branding? We have corporate branding and personal branding. So corporate branding is the branding that involves a company. So you realize that the way you brand a company is different from the way you brand a person. Today I'm going to be talking more on personal branding because it is the most important branding in this economy. We are in the personal branding economy. Why? If you check the social media of someone like Russell Brunson, you will realize that he has more followers than the number of people following Expert Secrets. That is his company. If you check the number of people that are following, if you are in Nigeria and don't jazz him, you realize that it has higher number of followers than the number of people following his company, which is Marvin Record. That tells you that this is the personal brand economy. So, this can also be applied on the corporate branding, but let's focus on personal branding. Three major things you must do to build a profitable brand. One, you must have a brand goal. So what is a brand goal? What do you want to achieve with your brand? What message or what solution do you want to provide to the society? You realize that a lot of people don't have a brand goal and that's why they are shooting health as skeptical. That's why they can follow on any trend, they can bring any kind of advertiser, they can use any kind of name because they don't have a brand goal. So what is the brand goal of, let's say, United Nations? Their goal is to bring peace to the world. Simple. What is the brand goal of Facebook? Their goal is to connect people as close as possible. So ask yourself, what is your brand goal? What is that ultimate objective that you are putting yourself out there for? So you must have a brand goal and it must be very clear. Alright? It must be very clear. MTN says everywhere you go, their brand goal is they want you to be able to call or do business with their network anywhere you are involved. That's their brand goal. So what is your brand goal? The second thing is brand message. So when you are putting the brand goal, you must now produce a message that you will sell that goal to the world. You will use to sell the goal to the world. So the goal of Facebook is to is to is to connect people, friends, neighbors, people that they have met, people that have met themselves in the past and maybe they got separated and now they want to connect with themselves. Now what is the message Facebook is using to sell their brand? The message is connecting people. That's their message. So all the things Meta is doing, 
all their sub brands, Instagram, WhatsApp, all the brands they have under Meta, you realize that it, it has a message of connecting people. So anywhere you see Facebook, you will see connecting people. Anywhere you see um, Coca-Cola, you will see sharing happiness. Those of you in Nigeria, anywhere you see um, Sabidus, he is talking about comedy. His name, one of his name is Mr. Funny, right? So that is his message. His message is, I want to make you to be happier. I want to leave you happier anytime you come in contact with my content. So that is his message. So what is the message you are going to use? What is the story? All right, you must have a story you will use to sell your goal. You must have a story you use to sell your products or service. There must be a story behind your brand that will be unique from any other person out there. All right? The third thing you must do is brand identity. The third thing you must do to build a profitable and influential brand. Brand identity. What are people use, going to use to identify you? So there's this story of a man that was writing, he was a, he, he's a literature, he, he writes literature in the ancient Greece or so. Now, I forgot to name them now. Now, he, he now decided to begin to write on newspapers. Alright? On, on, on newspapers or on tablets that people read. Now, people that knew his literature writing, that were reading that newspaper, had to say, no, this particular page of this newspaper was written by this person, even though he didn't put his name. Why? Because of his identity. They have identified him through his writing. So how can people identify you? Because that's the only way you are going to be different. It, the reason why many people don't make money or don't succeed in business or personal branding or personal business is because they are the same with other people. But if you mention Sabinus, for instance, he's the only one that used the acronym something huge. So he's different. Right? He uses a different shirt and trouser, a blue shirt and a black trouser. Just to be different. It's not that he doesn't have money to wear other clothes, but he's using that particular one to be different. So, brand identity is very important because this is how your customers, the people that love you and that buy from you, that's how they will identify you. That's why anywhere you go in Nigeria and see a UBA bank, you will know. Anywhere you go and see a Winners Chapel Church, you will know because they are consistent in a particular identity. So, when we talk about brand identity, we talk about logo, we talk about color. We talk about the name, all right? And anything you are choosing as a brand identity, you must be consistent. You must be using it everywhere. You must be using it in your content, in your messaging. Anywhere you find yourself, you must be using the same thing. Don't come on social media and your name on Instagram is different from your name on Facebook and the one on Facebook is different from the one on YouTube, all right? You're going to confuse your audience and you're not going to sell, all right? Now, that is part one of this session. The second thing we are going to be talking about how recapping the four points we talked about today we talked about branding we talked about types of branding as corporate and personal branding how to build a powerful personal brand you need to have a brand goal what is the thing you want to bring to the world what is the thing you want to achieve you need to have a brand message how are you going to communicate this thing are you going to use um, a product or a service are you going to use, when it comes to marketing, will you use video content only? Will you use um, tweets? Will you use Instagram carousels? What is the message? What channel are you going to use to pass that message? And the third thing we talked about that was brand identity. How are we going to recognize you? All right. I believe that if you apply these things, you're going to get very closer to your goals and end up at the top all right my name is israel mafo um i'm a real and i can help you become the latest landlord in the southeast in the south south in lagos and in abuja all right so thank you so much and see you on my next video cheers